kind of want to move on to the uh, COVID-19 stuff that you wrote about in The Observer and the the situation with Renee Young and then, you know, obviously she's doing a lot better, by the way. That, I mean, it's so great to hear because that that yeah. was that was kind of scary reading about that. But just the idea that, you know, this th- these people are testing positive and WWE is very much making sure that that, you know, they don't want people to, to say if they, if they are positive or not, even if they want to. I, and, I you know, they 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 definitely allowed certain people to say um, cause I don't believe that, you know, Adam Pierce, just as an example, did it on his own. Now, I know Renee Young did, uh, do it on her own. Um, and you know, as far as, you know, so, but the talent has absolutely been told not to say anything and, um, you know, and, and WWE wouldn't say anything anyway, but they do owe it and they haven't to the talent, the families of the talent and things like that to tell the talent, like, this is, this is what happened. Because now you've got a situation where, you know, it's not just the talent, it's, it's the families of, of, of the talent. Um, and I know of one family that, um, you know, at least has a couple of people who tested positive or, or you know, yeah, who've had, has had at least two people who've tested positive. So it's it's um, it's just a it's just a real bad situation. So I, I guess being. Um, not not being transparent here, and and look, I, I don't want WWE to out anybody who doesn't want people to know. But what it does is it's going to cause a lot of speculation based on who's working the shows. Because I know last night's SmackDown show was changed, and there was guys missing, and immediately people are going to go, "Oh, that person must have it, or else why wouldn't they be on the show?" Well, those people, I mean, the you know the list of people, which is you know especially like. AJ, Daniel, Bryan, and Sheamus were billed for stuff on the show, and they weren't there. Now, they did advertise Sheamus for something for next week. So, but, you know, either these guys tested positive or they pulled themselves off because people tested positive. And then also um, Otis Tucker, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Mojo Rawley, and... um, Chad Gable were guys that weren't there and, and um, you know, Shorty G, whatever. And Mojo were, were working very closely with Noble, who did test positive. He was the agent for their match last week. And Rose and DeVille are legitimately best friends um, and have been for years and are, you know, always around. Um, and um, obviously, Renee was interviewing AJ and Daniel Bryan in the middle of the ring last week. Um, so, you know, there's that. And um, so, and and obviously backstage, Mandy Rose and Otis do all these skits together. So, I don't know. But as far as whether they pulled themselves off or they tested positive, you know, I don't know. But they were all very conspicuous by their absence. And I'm sure there'll be a list of similar number of people for Raw. Because originally, you know, they were going to tape two SmackDowns and two Raws. But they had so few people that they had to only do an hour of SmackDown and that's where the Undertaker stuff came in and it ended up being good for, for ratings. They actually did a good rating off the show, but by showing the WrestleMania main event with the Undertaker and AJ. But, um, you know, so, um, and with Raw, they were going to do two Raws and, and the decision was made. They taped one Raw this um, earlier today and they're, they didn't tape the second Raw because they didn't have enough, you know, they didn't want to do another shorthanded Raw. So they're going to wait a week and they're adding tapings next week that were not scheduled to be done because they didn't have enough people to do both Raws and SmackDowns. And, and I guess in a week they feel that they'll have enough people cleared. But it's weird because if they if they fail to test this week, they should, in theory they shouldn't be on next week's show either. So I don't know how that really is, helps. It should be that at least like 14 days later, not um, and 14 days later would be, would be the middle of the week after. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And they, and they clearly don't want to push pause on anything and go back to what they did in the beginning of this, which was like run a lot of these old pay-per-view matches during the shows and stuff. They, they, they clearly want to do the first run programming at least as much as possible. Yeah, as heavy talking programming now. Yeah. The one thing, too, is on yesterday's show, and this is like a weird one to me because it was like, okay, we know that they didn't allow people to wear masks or they strongly discouraged it, however you term it. And then this week, 
a lot of people in the audience, the, which and they were all NXT students um, or just NXT participants, um, had masks, but many still didn't. And it's kind of like, okay, now that now that you can do it for the rest of you, like you know Rick Bugez or whoever you know that that didn't. Why 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 would you not? That so you're an indoor place where you know that whatever the number is. Uh, there was this big outbreak in this very building, um, you know, a week ago, and you're. It just it's, it boggles my mind when I was watching it because, and and you know, really with AEW, I, I think that it'd probably be the same thing where you're gonna have some people with masks and some people don't, and it's kind of like at this point, why do you not? I mean, it just doesn't even make sense. But you know, I don't know. You could you couldn't pay me to go to that building, no. like anybody who's got a family, uh, and and a lot of those wrestlers do have families. Like I just can't like I understand you know that it is your job and and there there probably are maybe some small repercussions, but man, just the idea it's just so so cavalier to to go and and do that right now and with especially with the stuff that's going on with the positives and stuff it's it's got to it's got to be it's got to be killing these folks to to make this decision because you well, I I I know people you know especially now I mean I know people who I mean they're going but they feel it should be shut down and you know but it's you know if you're Roman Reigns you don't have to go and you know if you're Daniel Bryan you probably don't have to go but if you're most guys, um, you kind of need a good reason not to go. I and mean, there's there's are there are guys who are not big names who haven't been going uh, because of you know like there's certain family issues that um, they've accepted. But for the most part, most you know most I don't know how many people are thrilled to go. Um, I'm sure some are, and I'm sure some don't care. But obviously, you know the the you know the law of just the fact that not everyone is a dumb shit, you know, it's, it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of people there who are just like, why are we doing this? But also knowing that, you know, for, for anyone who's not a top guy, you're easily replaced. And when, you know, and the fear of cuts is there because they just did just a giant round of cuts and you don't want to be in the next round of cuts for the most part, unless, unless you're somebody who's like looking to get fired. And in that case, maybe you would do it, but then, if you do do that, they'll probably freeze your, you know, they'll probably freeze your contract. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that could be a thing for some of the guys, too. Um, if they want to leave, the ones who want to leave, it's like, um, you know, if we don't go, our contract's frozen for four months. So there was another thing that you wrote uh, as it relates to Vince wanting to start back up. I imagine that plan has has obviously changed because of what's been going on but th you wrote that in in late july and august he was well, actually they, they 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 booked the um lakeland florida the rp uh building whatever it's eight thousand seat building they booked that for for a smackdown taping and a raw taping at july 24th and july 27th i mean that's booked and um they may have delayed it but um i mean certainly by the middle of the week it was still it was still on I kind of heard maybe they'll, they'll try to delay it. But, you know, that's just, again, it's what they want to do. I mean, Vince is bound to determine to be the first one back, not even realizing that, you know, I mean, with fans, not realizing that NASCAR and PBR have already beaten them. But, um, you know, he, he that, that's just one of the things, uh, you know, that, that, that they've that they want to do. When, one other thing also, um, the New York thing, to me, that. That thing is just so, I mean, it's, it's, it's not mind boggling. And I explained it essentially what's, what's happening, you know, because if you go to Florida, you're not allowed to go back to New York, New Jersey or Connecticut without two week quarantine. And these guys are getting around it by flying to Philadelphia, you know, flying out of Philadelphia and to Philadelphia and then mm -hmm. driving, which is, I mean, it is against the law or whatever the ordinance or whatever and there are fines that i explained in the issue for doing this now the odds of you getting caught are very very small to not to none but you're you know at the same time i mean it's, it's like you're not like some uh you know whatever you know what i mean like they're, they're, they're public people who are doing this 
um, from what I understand, so with, with AEW, um, everything is not exactly settled as far as what's going to happen. But um, I was wrong in the in the issue because um, I mentioned Brody Lee, but Brody Lee has moved to Tampa, so he doesn't have to go back to, to Rochester. And so MJF is the one, and I don't know what he's doing, but I did hear talk that he may stay as opposed to keep going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, just because it kind of makes sense to do that at this at this stage of the game. 